Double recessive projects are super popular right now. And the way people normally start this project is by pairing two visual animals, one from each recessive project together and gathering up double heads. They keep back all their females and then pair one male to each of those females. But what if probability wise, there's a better way of doing that? So when you hear that a double head to double head pairing gives you a one in 16 chance of producing a double visual, what that actually means is there's a one in 16 chance per egg. So per egg, you have a 6.25% chance of hitting that double visual animal. And that's a pretty low probability for that desired um, outcome. So if you were to pair a double head to a double head and you got six eggs, you would only have a 32% chance in that clutch of hitting a double visual. What if you had more than one clutch? So it would take four clutches of six eggs, 24 eggs total, for you to get a 78.75% chance of hitting a double visual. So when you're doing this project, a lot of people will have one male to four females because that's what will give them an 80% chance of hitting their desired animal in a season. One male can pretty easily go to four females in a season uh, especially if he's an established breeder it might be a pretty heavy season for a first-time breeder and you don't want any of your females to slug out so four is a good number and it is a manageable number um, when it comes to the number of hatchlings you're going to have so how can those four females increase your odds well you could have a male with one visual and one head of the combination you're trying to hit. So for example, if you're trying to hit a desert ghost pied, you get a pied het desert ghost male and pair him to four double het females. This is going to increase your odds to a 12.5% chance of hitting the double visual per egg. That is doubling your odds of hitting the double visual. That means in six eggs, you have a 55% chance of hitting it. And in 24 eggs, you are up to 95% possible you have up to a 95% possibility of hitting the double visual you are looking for. And in two clutches, you are going to have a higher probability of getting the double visual than you did with the four clutches of the double head to double head. So double head to double head, it took 24 eggs to get a 78.75% chance of hitting. In the visual and head to double head, at 12 eggs, so two clutches of six eggs, you have a 79.85% chance of hitting the double visual. You can also very drastically improve your odds by going ahead and getting a double visual male. Uh, the double visual male is going to pass those genes on to 100% of his babies, so you're really just um, depending on the double head female at that point. You now have a one in four percent chance one in four chance per egg of hitting the double visual. So in six eggs, you have an 82% chance of getting the snake you want. And in four clutches of six eggs, you're up to like 99.9% .9 chance likely to get at least one double visual. Now this is all assuming that you started off with a visual male and a visual female. But what if instead of a visual male, you had a double head male to begin with? So if you were to pair your double het male to two visual females, for example, you have a double het desert ghost pied male and two pied females, what you're going to get is a lot of pied het pied and 50% chance het desert ghost. So what you're gonna wanna do is hold back four of those pied possible het desert ghost females and you're going to pair them back to that double head male. Probability wise, what you actually have is two pied females and two pied head desert ghost females. And pairing them back to that double head male means you're doing the double head to visual head pairing. And that was the one that has a one in eight chance um, per egg of hitting a double visual. So with a six egg clutch, um, you're up to 55% chance, chance of hitting your double visual. And with two of those um, clutches, two six egg clutches, you are up to a 79.85% chance of a double visual. That again is higher than the 78.75% chance of 24 eggs, four um, clutches of six eggs with the double head to double head. Now that might seem like a marginal increase, but it is an increase and in the end, once you've proven out which are het for desert ghost in this example, you now have two breeder size visual het animals rather than two breeder size double het animals. 
And if you hit a double visual male and pair that back to your visual hit females, you're up to a 98.4% chance of hitting a double visual in a 6-8 clutch. So two clutches of 6-8, you're gonna hit all kinds of double visuals once you've gotten there. Now, these are all probability, this is all odds. Nothing is promised, anything could happen. Um, but if you wanna look at it strictly by probability, maybe the best way to do it is actually to pair a double hit male to visual females to begin with. If you have the money to go out and go buy your double visual to begin with, do that. You're gonna have much higher odds of hitting your double visual that way. This is just a method if you are looking to get into a double visual project and maybe you are trying to save a little bit of money getting into it. So right now, a double head DG clown is about the same price as a regular clown male. So it's just something to keep in mind when you are getting animals ready for a project. Uh, you can maybe be creative in your um, project style. So. Again, this is all probability. It's just food for thought. Something interesting that we found out when we were crunching the numbers. Steven found it out, not me. I went to college for statistics. I'm not doing it again. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and it wasn't just too much math, too many numbers thrown at you. So if you found this interesting, let us know in the comments. Go ahead and like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff so that we can keep making these videos. And most importantly, let us know what you'd like to see next because we love your ideas for videos. Um, again, I'm Courtney with Leviathan Snakes and I hope you have a great day.